Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to AppSec's online support program. I hope you all are doing well. This is your English teacher from EPS Fort Road Middle Wing Boys and now I'll be guiding you about your assignment of English literature for week 6 that is for class 5. So in the previous week you did the recap of chapter number 1 and 2. You listed the main events and you wrote the names of the characters. Let's do a quick recap of the chapter number 1 and 2 again. Mary Lennox is the main character of the novel. She was a 9-year-old girl. She used to live in India with her parents, but a disease broke out there and so as a result her parents died. So she had to move to Yorkshire to her uncle Archibald Craven's house. By nature, Mary was a stubborn and bossy girl. Why she was bossy and stubborn is because she, in India, she spent most of her time around servants and she used to boss them around all the time, which made her bossy. So when she came to Mistlethwaite Manor and she had to follow the rules, she didn't like it. However, she liked Martha, who was there to help her with her daily tasks. Martha was a friendly girl, and she, so she liked her. Then uh, she also learned about the secret garden. Now, can you tell who was Mary? What kind of a personality did she have? Why did she move to Yorkshire? Okay, now this week, the objectives of this week's lesson are you will read and comprehend chapter number three. You will understand the progress of the plot and development of characters. And you will increase your vocabulary by finding out the meanings of the difficult words and you will use them into sentences of your own. Now I need you guys to read chapter number 3 thoroughly. I'm just listing the main events here but you need to read the chapter thoroughly. It was a beautiful day. Mary went to the garden and she discovered a key. Actually it was Robin who led her to this key and she found it. The next morning, Martha came back and she gave Mary a present. It was a skipping rope. So Mary skipped and skipped all day. She also discovered this secret garden. So she decided to make a little garden for herself. And for this, she needed some tools. So Martha suggested that she would write a letter to her brother Dickon to bring them some tools. So Mary was really excited to meet Dickon for the first time. Now, after reading the chapter, you have to underline the difficult words, for example, more generally followed, broad, present, skipping, appeared, mysterious, and whispered. You will look up the meanings of these words in the dictionaries, and so you will enter them in the vocabulary journal along with their meanings. And then you will use any of these four words to make sentences of your own. When you're making sentences, try to make your own sentences rather than copying them from the book. Then you have to give answers of these comprehension questions. The first question is, who sent a present to Mary? What was that? The next question is, why do you think Mary needs a spade? When you're answering comprehension questions, you should keep in mind that you should answer in the same tense in which the question is asked. That's it for this week's assignment. If you have any problem, any confusion, you can consult your subject teachers. Thank you. I hope you will remember us in your prayers.